group of guys, don't you think? when they were muddy or in trouble or whatever, but not, they really weren't in a lot, they think they were in a lot of trouble, but they really weren't. Um, it is always a very special opportunity to honor individual accomplishments. However, we know that individuals come together to achieve success as teammates too. Participating at the national level for a small program like Beaver College and Arcadia University is in and of itself a significant achievement. One such team, a team that took the Arcadia flag and waved it nationally in 2002 is the 2002 Arcadia University men's soccer team. The team finished 21-4 and four and ranked number seven in the nation. Think about it. Number seven. Tom, any guess how many Division three soccer programs there were at that time? 250 maybe? 250. These guys were number seven and you know them. They're here right in front of you. That's a lot of teams that they were ahead of. The team captured their second consecutive PAC title, having been undefeated, as I mentioned earlier, in 2001, and advanced to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. Injuries plagued the team. How many of you, would you raise your hand if you had an injury and you missed a game? Anybody up here? <laughs> Most of them. Okay, somehow. <laughs> with several key forwards and top defensive leaders not surviving the playoffs. Other players stepped in the roles and continued to reach for new heights. Tom DeGeorge told me tonight that he have may, may have been on more skilled teams along the way, but this team made it work best and worked together as a team. I don't want him in any trouble for that. That was a good comment. The team advanced in the NCAA tournament farther than any pack team up to that point in the 12, year, 12 years of the conference history. The concept of going off to playoffs was not as well established as it is now. The, though the soccer team's era, through the soccer team's era, the competition at other levels had become more recognizable than say when it was Anne Frank, when Anne Franklin Smith's team uh, broke the barrier in 1985. The teams of the 50s and the 60s that had national opportunity. Give you a sense for me personally, Shirley, Linda Detra, Jen Johnson and I piled into my car and we followed the team on that little journey up in New England. We watched in the cold and snowy conditions and adjusted when they had to go to a different campus due to the inclement weather. I think these guys would have played in any conditions at any time and they would win. The challenges for the team were many, as Coach Carlin reports, there was not really probably one game that all the starters played in. The injuries mounted, and many think had it not been for two or three key injuries, we may have that national championship banner for 2002 right here on our campus. It was a wonderful run, and you will hear from Tom Carlin in a few minutes. This team is clearly one of the most noteworthy teams we have had. Earlier we heard about the 1985 softball team going to nationals. Last year at this induction we heard about a nationally ranked basketball team and we know about the teams of the 1950s and 60s. This ranking and these accomplishments are considerable and are a proud moment in our history. And I know every coach is interested in achieving this level of success in recognition for Arcadia. Congratulations, guys.